On Republic Day 1990, the nation celebrated the success of its missile program. I was conferred the Padma Vibhushan along with Dr. Arunachalam. Memories of the Padma Bhushan awarded a decade ago came alive. I still lived more or less as I had lived then, in a room 10 feet wide and 12 feet long, furnished mainly with books, papers and a few pieces of hired furniture. The only difference was at that time my room was in Trivandrum and now it was in Hyderabad. The mess bearer brought me my breakfast of idlis and buttermilk and smiled in silent congratulation for the award. I was touched by the recognition bestowed on me by my countrymen. A large number of scientists and engineers leave this country at their first opportunity to earn more money abroad. It is true that they definitely get greater monetary benefits, but could anything compensate for this love and respect from one's own countrymen? On the 15th of October, 1991, I turned 60. I looked forward to retirement and planned to open a school for the less privileged children. It was during this period that I decided to put down my memoirs and express my observations and opinions on certain issues. The biggest problem Indian youth faced, I felt, was a lack of clarity of vision, a lack of direction. It was then that I decided to write about the circumstances and people who made me what I am today. The idea was not merely to pay tribute to some individuals or highlight certain aspects of my life. What I wanted to say was that no one, however poor, underprivileged or small, need feel disheartened about life. Problems are a part of life. Suffering is the essence of success. As someone said, God has not promised, skies always blue, flower strewn pathways all our life through. God has not promised, sun without rain, joy without sorrow, peace without pain. I will not be presumptuous enough to say that my life can be a role model for anybody, but some poor child living in an obscure place in an underprivileged social setting may find a little solace in the way my destiny has been shaped. It could perhaps help such children liberate themselves from the bondage of their illusory backwardness and hopelessness. Irrespective of where they are right now, they should be aware that God is with them. And when He is with them, who can be against them? Let the latent fire in the heart of every Indian acquire wings and the glory of this great country light up the sky. Mm.